very less stock we have. One is pending, uh, I think, a uh, loading activity. For that, we need to finish loading activity also. First, we do that. Go to delivery processing, outbound delivery, outbound delivery request. Yes, sir, our warehouse APL. This is the last one. I think without HU we have confirmed the stock, if I remember. Okay, first we can do some stock. This is ours. We keep some stock. One open purchase order is there. VL31 Yeah. Just the ones you can stack. We do one thing. I'm uh, deactivating process type control indicators for this moment because otherwise it will go to deconsolidation put away and other things So simple, I am removing the process type determination control indicator. Okay, this thing. Now, all stock we will bring. Mat 1 and Mat 2. Double 1, 7, 2, 5 inbound. This one, uh, not this. Double one, seven to five is ours. This thing. Go to inbound delivery. That is not error actually, we need to ensure these default values. Follow on functions where first task. Several channeling units are generating we have this thing what uh, auto hu for these products that is creating This kind of uh, compilation leads to some performance issues in real time, okay? There, uh, this is the public system, right? 
we cannot get uh, this much time see here some 10 seconds 20 seconds 30 seconds to clear the warehouse task okay if they are doing the operations some thousands of uh, picks thousands of uh, uh, put aways definitely they can ask us performance is very low on this thing okay this thing you can check what is happening compilation some uh, 24 quantity but, uh, one uh, is it yeah. running or uh, is running. That, uh, I mean running running back end it is uh, identifying put away strategies on this thing okay okay i thought i mean maybe screen guides are like you know <laughs> no 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 it, this uh, wheel wheel running see okay okay running, yeah, yeah. running running i thought i mean screen gets hanged I mean. no 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 <laughs> no running okay no, no they cannot accept this kind of uh, slowness in the system in real time projects. Okay. This so, I mean, back end, a uh, lot of things are happening capacity checks, bins, where it should keep, and etc. That's why this much time. HUs are, uh, number of HUs are there. One product is 950, another product is this thing like this thing okay that, that that's what uh, this is roaming okay we will wait uh, for one minute yeah more than one minute We can check what is going on. Uh, let's do one thing. Yeah, uh, sometimes maybe server response. Uh, do one thing. Go to here. Last one. If you see here, HUs are determined some several HUs. Oh, uh, 24. Each one is 24. Several HUs are there. Okay. For second product, also we have handling units. Okay. Go to follow on functions where host task. All selected I have. School hai no ka hava, First, create three HUs. We can check what will happen. Yeah. This is fine. Create. Another next time six HUs. Three has taken three seconds. This one, okay. This also fine. We do one thing go to monitor and select a bulk open warehouse tasks and click there, okay. AIBD is our warehouse process type. I will show you how we can get the open warehouse tasks with reference to our warehouse process type okay in a single chat we will keep all this
each hq 24 pro uh, products are going some 900 are there in one uh, line item 600 plus is another line item System performance is very important in EWM. How many peaks are there? Normally, uh, we can say it depends on if it's a retail industry and these things, we can uh, uh, get more than 10,000 peaks also per day. 10,000 peaks. In terms of outbound delivery, they will uh, calculate. Within the outbound delivery, what is the maximum we can expect the line items? Like they can go. Okay. During the first phase, uh, they need to decide the database server and this thing. See here for uh, 50, 60. Put away tasks, we are not getting 50, 60, or 100. Not 100, 900 plus 700, 1600, 1600 by 24, some 75 or something. 75 line items, we are not getting speed warehouse tasks. Okay, now go to the monitor. SAP standard monitor. Go to the documents, warehouse tasks, open warehouse tasks, warehouse process type is AIBD. Okay. This one. This one. If you see here, this thing, we can restrict our this thing. Date field is there, we can check. Open warehouse task. Creation date Today's date Time up to this time Whenever you open the monitor and this thing just please go through the options. What are the options and etc okay this thing now selecting all confirm in background see here some of their in fast some of their in slow okay some of their in fast some of their in slow okay this thing. go to here Confirm where host us in background. Back end it is running.
confirm it. Okay, now we do one thing. Only confirm where host has. I need to have HU numbers. Copy this. Keep in one Excel. Okay. Just highlight that. I want to see the stock position. Go to stock and pin physical stock. Handling unit. See here, mat one is stored in fast mat one stored in fast mat two we can check Mat 2, here any field is there for GR date, we can check. No. Mat 2. Fourth right from here. Mat 2, this one. Quantity 24. See here 24 each one handling unit. So these are there mat one and mat two is there. Now we can create one outbound deliveries, sales orders. Go to we have stocks now. VL01N. Some open outbound deliveries are there. Open uh, sales orders. This one. Some three three. Go to here, 3-3. Three, three. Save it. 2 double one, six, seven. Outbound delivery, maintain outbound delivery request. This one. Outbound delivery order. Okay, this one. go to follow on functions warehouse task. First, check the accuracy. Yes, some rule is there, that's why it is this thing. Okay, here 2010 is coming. We don't require that. We need to have PYSC. We need to have PYSC. That is against our new warehouse process step. So I am not saving it. Go to product master. Ensure our process step determination control indicator. Go to outbound delivery request. The last one. Okay. 
we can check two zero one zero is there our is a two one zero okay this thing per second a two one zero Save it. Now outbound deliver order follow on functions where host task. Select create plus save. Go to this one one eight seven four seven monitor. Outbound delivery documents outbound delivery order warehouse task. This thing four tasks are there. Okay, this thing for this still waiting task. Something is happened in previously, that's what we are getting waiting task. What I'm doing, I will do one thing just observe, sir, the stock which are uh, mad to we are getting this thing waiting warehouse task due to some discrepancy in uh, previous uh, transactions okay we don't want to waste our time what i am doing okay whatever the gr i did today again is this product i am keeping into a new storage type and i assign new stock removal strategy for the new storage type that I will show you. That is also one of our practice. Okay, this thing. Go to goods monitor. We require one storage type. We can check. Go to SEM extended warehouse management. Master data. Define storage type. APL APL okay yes selvo one is there Whatever role is general IMP keeping capacity check is for okay this thing any bin is there we can create SLV one bin ls zero one SL SL one bin one is there already exist bin nine I am going to create bin nine there one sec bin not at saved save yes bin nine okay now I want to find out today's GR date of that products today's gr date of that product first we try with ad hoc movement h u movement slash scwm slash ad h u open advanced h see here open advanced h here any gr date field we can get we can check Storage type is there, product is there, handling unit is there. 
party and dial to dispose is there gear date is not here go to monitor mm. stock and bin handling unit physical stock here product gear and it is there we can check no okay go to documents warehouse task confirm warehouse task okay product apl mat 2 creation date is or confirm date is today's date here also i am selecting f4 f2 function this one. and one of the selection criteria confirm date is this one One sec. Sir, uh, here a uh, stock type, stock correct, type correct, should be correct. F2 no, sir. Correct, correct, correct. Okay. Yes, yeah, something is happened that what I am checking. Matter to. This bins, okay. This product is this bin. All are copied. Okay, okay. One second, second, second. Go to here. Scroll down. Here one posting change is happened. If we see here, one posting change is happened here. F1 to F2, that is changed automatically when a new warehouse task and this thing. One posting change. See here, F1 is there, F2 it is converting. F2 stack type, but One thing. Copy this bit. Go to filter, filter and the stock type. You have to, if you give, you can get filter. Okay, okay. That's why we can do. Okay. That one also. Something is happening here. We need to check. Cotton and work center like one sec. I will do one thing. This much stack is enough for us. Not copied. Here, copy. This one. Okay, this handling units. We will move to our uh, SLO1 bin 9.
some posting change is happening automatically for product to selection 20 it's close this one now go to here yes sell slow one right first we go with one then we can check this one bin nine Double line, double line. We had plus save. Warehouse order created. Confirm it. create plus save confirm now go to monitor again monitor mat to rem to right okay Ma monitor we can go Stock and bin, physical stock, sorry, storage bin, physical stock, storage type, SLO1, storage bin is, this one, bin 9, F2 stock type is there, right, okay, 24 quantity is there. First, we go with the transaction later on, or else one sec. First, we do the one transaction, then we can move all the HUs. Okay, now go to strategies. Yes, first, we can check the stock removal control indicator of this thing product mat to. REM2 go to strategies SPRO IMG setup goods issue process REM2 strategies warehouse number APL Remove this SLO1. We can assign SLO1. We can assign instead slow. We are assigning this one here. 24 is there stack. Okay, this thing now the activity areas we need to check for this SLO1. Master data activity areas generate activity area SLO1 generate already exists so not a problem and bin sorting also we can do one sec Already there it is showing SLO1. SLO1 not there. 
we can check define activity area jpl sl o1 know that jpl sl o1 sl o1 is i am creating okay now this one next go to here assign storage bins to activity areas new entries apl sl o1 storage type sl o1 consolidation group full entire storage type i have maintained activity area now bin sorting define sort sequence for activity area go to new entries apl is my warehouse the activity area slo1 the activity stock removal pick sequence number 1 slo1 for picking only in future we will get errors for replenishment and this thing that time we can manage now <coughs> bin sorting sbst yes l01 this three bins are there okay <coughs> now we come with one new outbound delivery order or else cancel that that is also possible we can try cancel that why we go for new outbound delivery documents outbound delivery order warehouse tasks this one these three are there cancel this warehouse order tasks 18747 is our document cancel this one is open let it be now go to outbound delivery order follow on functions where for stars create okay same stack in uh, some other bins also there okay not a problem sir if you see here three products two individual handling units are there and one is there okay what i will do i will create a pkq and i will keep this three products into one pkq create plus save now go to monitor again warehouse task select only cancelled remove now it is coming perfectly this product see here okay this thing one some one is fast one product <coughs> go to this additional data warehouse order 
this one go to Pikachu it is going to work center bin work center bin okay here I am giving giving one Pikachu two all zeros one three one one three one confirm it this is going to packaging work center okay this thing next come back any one of this you can check single warehouse order you can expect with three line items single see here for this also i am building one pikachu that is also going to pack work center One three two. Save. Confirm it. Now both products are available in Pack Work Center. There we will build a SHPH. We will build a SHPH. Okay. Go to Pack Work Center. Transaction is back one pack transaction p a c k a pack 131 and 132 two are there these things these two okay here two handling units a came <coughs> just i am moving this Okay, 131 and 132, two are there. See here, 131 and 132. What I am doing is, I am building a CPHU here. Pack material, cotton box. Execute it. Okay, 133. If we go with the repack pack uh, product, source HU, this, this is also, we can do. What I am doing is, just I am drag and dropping. One double three is our product. Uh, this one new handling unit. This also. Okay, this is our ship H. Come to monitor, refresh it. See here, repack tasks. You can find out here all three zero one zero, three zero four zero repack. Okay, this thing. Now complete the H U process step. completed refresh one new handling unit is generated for GI area okay this is also complete another new handling unit is sir new warehouse task is completed uh, created for door bin loading step loading a load this one load step this also i am confirming load step okay now go to the outbound delivery order 18747 this one Picking completed, packing completed, loading also completed. GA not started. Yeah, as usual, we can do GA. GA. Now, four steps we used picking, staging, picking, packing, staging, 
picking, packing, staging, loading, and etc. Okay, this thing. Now, yeah, for today I am uh, stopping the session. Tomorrow, what we do is we create doors, warehouse doors. Okay, we create warehouse doors, and we do loading through RF gun. All entire cycle we do the RF gun. And one more thing, only one thing is pending from outbound side is say every time we are creating a warehouse order creation rule and every time we are assigning to warehouse process type. Okay. Now, what is the solution for this? Here, one is there. <coughs> Here, define set to sequence of creation rules for activity area. Here, activity area wise, we can give the warehouse order creation rules. Activity area wise. Say, through three rules are there. We have pick stays, pick pack stays, pick pack stays, load. These are there. Then, if I give sequentially 1, 2, 3, 4, or whatever it may be, how the system can identify right warehouse order creation rule. More than one is there. Then which one is our right uh, warehouse order creation rule? For that, <coughs> we can use filters and limits. We can use filters and limits. Okay. We use some filters to trigger the right warehouse order creation rule. Even though we are using some filter, I want to uh, use, I want to get only two warehouse tasks in my warehouse order creation rule, we can go with limits. If we go to these limits, say one of the limit, see here, what is the maximum, minimum items, maximum items, minimum value, maximum value, etc, etc are there. Okay, HUs also, maximum number of HUs in a warehouse order like these things we can have various options that we can see uh, tomorrow we can see this day after tomorrow we go with that automatic uh, staging area group under door determination and we confirm the uh, loading tasks and everything through rf gun day after tomorrow thursday and friday yeah saturday please plan for the saturday we will uh, finish uh, yard management okay after door we have yard okay yard okay this one okay sir saturday please plan to attend a two hours minimum two hour session thank you thank you for attending the session